Let's take a look at how to give proxy access in your GroupWise email account. You will want to do this so that appointments can be added and read on your calendar by other users. You will be doing this in four easy steps. 1. Log in to GroupWise. 2. Edit your proxy access settings. 3. Add which users you want to have proxy access. 4. Edit your settings for each user so that they can see and add appointments to your calendar. First, go to your Start menu and click on your GroupWise email. This will open up your GroupWise account. Please note that logging in through Firefox or Explorer will not allow you to edit your settings. Be sure not to use a browser to access your account or you will not be able to add proxy users. Next, click on Tools and then click on Options. A window will appear. Double click on Security, which is marked with a padlock. Then click the Proxy Access tab. To identify which users you want to have proxy access to your account, click on the Address Book next to the Name box. Then under Match, choose GroupWise Email. Once you have completed this, go to the Look For box and type in ATRC, then click Enter. The main ATRC at cwu.edu email address will be added to your selected list. Go back to the Look For box and type in ATRC Tech and push Enter again. This will add the ATRC Tech email to your selected list. Finally, type ATRC Tech 2 into the Look For box and push Enter. This will add the ATRC Tech 2 email to your selected list. Click OK. Then edit your settings for each user. Do this by selecting each user and then marking Read and Write for appointments. This will allow these users access to see and add appointments to your calendar function, which we will learn how to use later. Click Apply. Check your settings and click OK. Close out of the Options window. You have now added these three accounts as proxy users who have access to your calendar. Now let's learn how to use GroupWise calendars to create a schedule. Here are the steps we will be taking. 1. Accessing the calendar. 2. Adding an appointment or obligation to the calendar. 3. Making this appointment or obligation a reoccurring event on the calendar to create a schedule. First, access your calendar by clicking once on the Calendar button on the left side of your account window. Next, click on New Appointment, which is the button marked with a clock. A dialog box will open asking for information about this appointment. Fill in the information about your appointment or obligation, including the start date, the time, the duration, and the subject. The subject which may be class, club meeting, unavailable, or other obligation. To make this reoccurring, click on the Miniature Calendar button next to the Start Date box. Select every day that this obligation applies and then click OK. If you are done filling out all the information for this appointment, click the Send button. This will send your appointment to the calendar. Wait a moment for all the dates to fill in. Do this for every class and obligation that you have, or any times that you would not be available to work. Do not fill in when you would like to work. Only fill in when you are not available. This will help keep your calendar neat and easy to read. If another user with proxy access adds an appointment to your calendar, you will receive an email alert requesting that you accept or reject the appointment. When you accept it, the appointment will be added to your calendar. If something changes with your schedule, or if you have another obligation come up, please add it to your calendar as quickly as possible to ensure that you are not scheduled to work during that time.